The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As always, we come to you at the appointed time. <clears throat> the following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. At the moment, we're waiting for a retest. And the basic idea of uh, what I've followed and the way I've traded pretty much since, uh, I'm going to say since 2000, maybe 1999, uh, was a mod uh, modified Wyckoff model. I don't know anybody that actually trades the same way that Wyckoff did. There's a Wyckoff Institute that kind of goes back and preaches uh, that you do it exactly like he uh, said. Things change. Styles change. Fashions change. Anyway, uh, the idea out here is that we really truly need a test of 36, 36, 87. That is the last major low from June 17th that had, eh, on this one, about uh, 7 billion shares. In reality, if I use the CBOE consolidated volume, we're really talking, I think, that had like 18 billion shares down there. So the first thing we want to do is uh, see whether or not we're going to test this low with lighter volume. Right now, we're doing about 7 billion shares. That would translate into about 12 or 13 billion shares which is kind of uh, about what we were having uh, Thursday, Friday. We were having some strong days. I think Friday was 13 billion. So we're, we could come in with about three, three and a half billion lighter uh, shares if we get this retested. Uh, the big problem that I think people have is um, on the highs, you can just kind of get into the candle and in the lows, if you've got about half the volume, you can just get in the candle. But if you've got 80% of the volume, you better see that low. Wyckoff had a term called proving the point. That is that you went through a previous high or low, and then that day or the day after, you came back into the trading range. And that told you if you got up there and there was no volume, or you got down there and there was no volume, uh, comparable to the previous one, that you had a good opportunity to see people had given up on throwing the baby out with the bathwater. And my proverbial sign, the burning bush. Uh, you know, you get into some kind of low where you uh, do have that. And of course, the biggest trades I ever had with the biggest lows uh, made the biggest amount of money in the shortest amount of time uh, were back in 2000, March of 2009. Uh, where I had uh, Perry Ellis. Uh, you can go back and look at these charts if you can dig up all the thing. I think uh, Perry Ellis, uh, the solar company, CSIQ. All these stocks were testing at previous lows on, I don't know, 10 15% of the volume of the previous lows of the uh, housing crisis from 2000. And you had uh, these test themselves out over a period of, I think it took about four months, maybe five months, um, from the first low to the bounce to the next low where you had literally no volume left. And, of course, uh, those stocks, I think CSIQ and Perry Ellis, both of them were like $2 stocks, and they went to $10, 15 bucks. And I mean, just in a heartbeat, not in a day or two, but I think in a like, two-week trade. And in equities, pretty much unheard of finding a bunch of stocks like that. They weren't meme stocks. They're still around today. They weren't frauds. Um, but uh, finding lows with lighter volume um, from then on, I didn't really spend a lot of time looking at other methods of trading. Um, Wyckoff continued to work okay, not spectacularly as it did the previous 100 years after the Fed got incredibly active in manipulating the stock market, uh, which 
tell recently, um, they really just didn't bother with. Anyway, uh, there were two things uh, that wanted that I got this book for, and I forgot about uh, bringing it up. We were kind of making fun of, oh, no, we were actually making fun of Jim Cramer, who I must always play this every time I say his name or else. Bring me the head of the false prophet, Jim Cramer. Anyway, the uh, uh, the point was that he was telling people to short um, NVIDIA after it had already taken a huge downside. And I'm thinking, okay, first of all, you don't wait until the stock's given it all up to go short. And second of all, one of the best stories out of this, because he was a newsletter writer and uh, – uh, before he started his newspaper that it kind of ended up being the Wall Street Journal after a while. He's got a good chapter in the very back about being a newsletter stock writer and picker. He was the most famous uh, newsletter writer of all time, and they would pay to uh, intercept uh, his newsletter when it was uh, sent out very, uh, uh, very uh, via teletype and uh, other things. Uh, and everybody, especially the big guys on Wall Street, would front run all of it. And they'd wait until all these kind of rube traders would get into it. And then they'd manipulate the stock and clean them out. So he ended up having to send newsletters out with lots of different picks and go long and go short the next day. Um, and uh, ended up doing like airmail around these folks to, uh, to get it. But. Um, when you're that big and you're that public, uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, the guy that uh, tried to go up against uh, Icon a few years ago. Was that uh, – I can't remember his name now. Where they were fighting over the uh, dubious uh, value of a multi-level marketing uh, scheme, and they eventually ran the guy out. Uh, even though the stock probably wasn't worth anything close to it, you get too much of a concentrated short position, you're just asking to get squeezed. Uh, much like uh, that news uh, letter that was over 100 years ago, uh, when he writes about it in the book, um, you just don't want to have too big of a following, and you want to make sure if people follow you that they don't do stupid things. And of course, what do you think that his newsletter folks that followed him did? Eventually, he got big enough that he was the market, and they went and just cleaned out all of his subscribers uh, because they were big enough and they could run them out. And stock operators were back then were literally able to do just about anything. A little different now, but I don't think that in the end it's going to be any different. That is that uh, they will probably clean. Um, uh, the people that listen to him's uh, clock eventually. I don't know when it will be. Uh, most of them are short about 128 bucks on Nvidia. It's printing off at about 123. So maybe they're a little bit ahead. But uh, you know, all these people have put in stops and everything else. One day they're just going to clean their clock. We'll be back in a minute. Herbalife, thanks. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 and as we come back yeah it was uh bill ackman and herbal life i just couldn't remember i remember it was carl icon uh was uh bending uh the younger ackman over his knee and they're giving a, a forthright spanking for getting a little cocky about uh, shorting something. And uh, I think you can be absolutely right and 100% wrong on a profit uh, shorting a stock if you get uh, too far into the weeds. And uh, Icon, pretty much the same uh, stock operators that we had uh, through the last 100 years. You don't want to get out past the tips of your skis when you're shorting stuff. And uh, eh, there endeth the story. Now, what I dislike about uh, these lows so far is that everybody keeps trying to buy them before you get to the low. My guess is that they're going to wash all those folks out that bought that have some kind of stop right under the low. They'll go and tag them. Maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe it's Wednesday. But they're going to shake everybody out. They're going to shake them to the core. They're going to make them. Uh, they're going to make them say "mama." Um, and that will be it. And then we'll find a low. But until and, and until we start seeing or stop seeing everybody try to buy this low, we're probably not going to have one. So I didn't think we got it Friday, mostly because we didn't get down and test that low. Uh, about 80% of the time, you will see the low at least hit to the penny, if not exceeded. Then you want to see that uh, the to get the confirmation, you want the close to come back into the trading range. So that's what we're looking for for a low, or at least what I'm looking for for a low. And that everybody thinking that they're going to buy the low in the next minute or next hour, um, instead of being worried that it's going to blow out to the downside, makes me think that it's going to blow out to the downside. Um, when everybody all has the same idea, it rarely works. 877-927-6648. Okay, things going on for me or us. Uh, UK uh, is doing some tax uh, cuts, uh, cuts tax. 
for tax cuts. Uh, and that's uh, continuing to move the dollar. Uh, Italy's election uh, have thrown out the f extreme far left uh, of Italy. And, of course, uh, they tend to lean to the extreme far left in all of Europe. So they're making a big deal about it. Uh, anybody that isn't the son of Stalin over there is a far right winger, according to their press. Uh, of course, they're not. Uh, we've got the government uh, possible shutdown. Uh, not exactly sure what the status is on that. I haven't seen yet today. Everybody's talking about the storm in the Gulf, which will probably hit me on Wednesday. So do not be surprised if I am not around. I'll be hunkering down. And uh, probably the newsletters will continue, but I may not have uh, a big honking Internet connection uh, on Wednesday. So we shall see. Eh, 70 miles an hour winds, maybe some storm surge. Uh, but uh, other than the inconvenience of uh, maybe not having Internet or electricity for a little while, uh, the electric I've got covered, unfortunately, all the Internet towers here run out of power about 12 hours uh, after the uh, power's gone out uh, when their battery backups uh, run down and that's it. I uh, did have a very good uh, uh, what I was doing a bunch of stuff this weekend was listening to some various stuff. I uh, did hear a very good um, reason why uh, the uh, Trafalgar group who does political polling um, guy asked him why he was doing so much better in polling and has really for the last, I don't know, 12 years than almost everybody else. And basically came the same idea uh, that I brought up a few times on the show before. And that is, uh, it's called the Keynesian Beauty Contest. Uh, but uh, Mr. Keynes, a big time uh, uh, economic guru, I think from about the 20s through the 50s or 60s, can't remember, before my time anyway, uh, had an idea, kind of a thought experiment. And that was that people don't buy stocks because they think it's going up. Or let me put it this way, good stock traders don't uh, believe or buy stocks because they believe it's going up. They believe other people are going to buy it. And this guy said uh, he got so much better polling because he didn't ask whether they were going to vote for somebody or not. Uh, he asked what they thought their neighbors were going to buy. And I thought, uh, how apropos for the Keynesian beauty contest to be applied uh, to election polling. And uh, no wonder this guy was doing so much better than everybody else. Um, you don't have to say who you're actually for. You know, a lot of people lie. But if you ask uh, who your neighbor is going to vote for, maybe you're going to be a little more honest. Uh, over the weekend, uh, some of the first uh, reviews of AMD's new chip are out. And I have to say that at least at the uh, medium and high ends of the consumer, prosumer gaming market, uh, anybody that buys a desktop, uh, they're starting to sing the song that Intel uh, is dead. And I have to say, at least from uh, all the original, or not the original, the uh, uh, probably the top 10 uh, influencers that do a lot of reviews on chips, um, absolutely, totally, Intel has dropped the ball so badly that they, uh, on the high end, may, rather, let me put it this way, at the high end, their chip is about 30% faster than Intel's top chip. And, man, is it just, so, um, how do you blow a lead like that? I mean, you got a company that AMD was trading for a buck 50, and you let them succeed, and you continue to just, uh, Make sure that you never do anything and give it all away. Anyway, a lot of things I just thought were interesting today. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to get uh, going here and talk about uh, was the Ford F-150. We talked about that last week. Got to drive it. 
Um, one of my friends actually bought one. And of course, uh, as we have the storm approach, uh, he wanted me to run down Saturday night real quickly and help him get his boat up into a storage facility and off the water. Um, so uh, he dropped me off with his car. Uh, uh, I drove his truck up, got a trailer, went down there and met, met him. He brought the boat over to the ramp. We put it on it. Um, just putting the aluminum trailer on it, I'm going to say at least took uh, at least double the power for whole, uh, for uh, for uh, towing the actual boat and trailer. Uh, for a 200 mile vehicle, you probably should say that maybe you'll get 65 miles. That was a standard range truck. I thought, well, if I really needed one, I think I'd buy a diesel. I don't think I'd buy an EV pickup if you were actually going to use it. Be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. Uh, I had a question uh, from... Uh, kind of an update from Friday, and the question was, uh, uh, where is Confluence? And, well, was it different be uh, between uh, a daily chart and a, a weekly chart? And the answer is no. Uh, the software in Art of Timing the Trade Charts just looks for the peaks and trough. So here's the uh, daily, and here's the weekly. The only difference is there's less bars. So... I don't see, you know, right now what you're looking for or what you're seeing is confluence um, is kind of big and fat down to 60, 
6205 or 6295, 6205. So that is the very bottom of uh, confluence. I don't like trading confluences that have huge wide uh, price ranges like this one does. And so on that particular branch, you know, could it get down to 60 and still kind of be in confluence? Yeah. I like the ones that are less than a percent and half a percent I love. And in this one, you really love it because it's 74.27 to 73.88. What is that? Less than 50 cents. You know that one's probably going to be, let me put it this way, you have a high probability of that being accurate. This one with a $4 range or $4.5 range, um, it, they're just mushy. They get into them. It can slow them down. Uh, I look at these bigger, wider ones as congestion zones, not as support and resistance levels, although they can be. Uh, the best part you have uh, out here in the USO is that 6205 is the 618 retracement of the move from August 20th up to the high of June 10th. So... Yeah, I think you've got uh, some support there, but that's just on the 618. So if you wanted to take a stab on it, uh, but um, we're still a buck higher on that at the moment. 877-927-6648. We have everybody here. I think so. Okay. Hopefully that answered your question, Gary. Uh, Gary, U.S. bonds. That would have been a good name to have these days if you were in the bond market, wouldn't it? Gary, U.S. bonds. Okay. We wanted to get to some of the other stuff. As I said, on the someone sent me an email on the Ford thing. I just don't know how it's usable to tow much if, you know, you get a 5,000-pound load and you suddenly are down to 65 miles of range. I mean, that's just very tough. I understand if you're using it as a car and maybe putting some stuff in the bed, but actually uh, putting anything uh, and hauling anything behind it, yeah, it can move it. You can pull stumps. It's not going to pull the stump very far. Uh, okay, other things going on already in the market. Um there's always a bull market somewhere or some stocks going higher or lower. And let me see. I wanted to get to my list of these. I know they're down here somewhere. Uh, got to be in here somewhere. You never know. There they are. Okay. So the biggest winners today uh, are the... Casinos of Macau, um, every once in a while, uh, you actually find uh, the Chinese doing something that uh, you didn't anticipate. That's what we got uh, in Win. They are allowing uh, a lot of the folks in about four of the major provinces of China to head back and spend some money gambling. Uh, you don't have a lot of volume today, but one of the few stocks that are up. Uh, on the S&P, we've had about 100 of the 500 stocks today make new 52-week lows. So that's kind of a good little sign. Uh, but as I said, I can't really do anything uh, or don't feel very good about doing anything until you see the test of the low in a bear market on lighter volume. Now, one of the other things that you like to see, or I like to see, because I've seen it so many times uh, when you're seeing uh, stuff go on like this, is highly shorted stocks also cleaning the clock of many folks. And generally, they don't tend to be big names. But uh, one of the favorite uh, that we've talked about of the fanboys in the den is Sava. And uh, what is it up today? 11%. And I think we talked about this either on the show or before the den, but it had like 40% short interest. This, in a bear market, one of the things you want to avoid 
is being piled in with the same bunch of everyone else. I have no idea what's going on underneath it. I didn't look at press announcements. What I do look at is 40% shorts, and I'm just assuming as many of the people that are foaming at the mouth uh, to short it when it popped, more people short it. It just, uh, it, there are dist stocks that people cannot keep uh, from uh, giving money back to the market uh, by shorting things. Uh, Tesla has been uh, maybe one of the more behaved versions of this, of highly shorted stocks. A uh, little less as time has gone by, uh, not really doing much of anything here. And since it's uh, come off uh, with the stock split of being a thousand bucks, you don't hear people wanting to dive on top of it as much as you had in the past. Now, of course, uh, as uh, I don't have a crystal ball, but I do have a crystal brain. It's uh, insured by Lloyd's of London, by the way. Uh, we do. Um, oh, yeah, there's another guy that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not very good. Uh, yeah, I've, that wouldn't have, he said that there were a bunch of uh, people that are already. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a fanboy, just as long as you know you are one uh, and being true to, like Shakespeare said, to thine own self, be true and don't short. Don't get into an Asian land war and don't short highly shorted stocks. I think those are two things I learned from the Princess Bride. Uh, anyway, uh, we talked about how there was a pretty good chance that we we're going to see 101 on the TLT. I don't see anything that changes that. Uh, so I'm going to change my name to Dave Odamas, uh, uh, the prodigal son of Nostradamus, um, where we go back and look at this low that looks like we're headed for. We're not that far away now. That's November 2nd, 2018 low at $100.76. Uh, that had uh, 85 million shares. That's going to be extremely good uh, support, but at the same time, it is uh, kind of, uh, if you remember during the uh, Re uh, Revolutionary War, maybe Larry Pesavento remembers it. I wasn't born yet. Anyway, uh, 1776, um, the British were nice enough to wear big red coats with a big X on it, so that you knew exactly where to shoot at. Well, this is the same thing. November 2nd, 2018 low, 176 cents on the PLT. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Kern had a good question in the den. I always use the uh, S&P cash uh, for my uh, numbers. And, you know, 10 years ago, could you make a case that you could use futures? I think you could. But probably since 2017, um, they've just become thinner and thinner and thinner, uh, especially in the aftermarket that you, if you want to, can put them anywhere you want and it doesn't cost you that much. So I'm not a big fan of looking at continuous futures, knowing that at any one time, maybe you got five ES contracts or not five ES, but five full contracts of size on either side of what's going on. And if you're, you know, Goldman Sachs and you want to wash a bunch of people out, uh, that's nothing for you. Uh, now, to move the S&P 500, uh, you know, five or ten points, hey, you're talking real money. You got 500 stocks, you got to move everything or a lot of stuff. So I'm not the uh, I'm kind of a bigger fan of using uh, the interday having to move real money uh, into markets into 500 stocks to actually get something done. And with 500 stocks, even though some of them are weighted more than others, you can move the S&P with a, uh, Apple alone, but you're not going to move it much. You'll move it maybe one twentieth of what you can move the NASDAQ by trading Apple up a buck. But uh, again, I'm a big fan of getting that retest, whether it's the TLT or the S&P 500. I don't like to use uh, the futures for doing it. I do use the... Uh, Enter day lows and highs. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Uh, and see what else we have. Uh, could I buy individual stocks? I probably could. I don't like to. I like to wait and uh, get it. Two, the way this is uh, setting up and everybody trying to buy the lows before it actually tests the lows makes me think that we're probably going to get some kind of slam down, gap down, something that's just going to make everybody throw away the shares they bought in the last day, in the last 24 hours, either to close on Friday or near the close. They're just going to, they're probably putting their stops right below it. Everybody's going to know it. They're going to go and clean them out, and then the market can turn around. So, again, I'm more than willing to sit on my hands and maybe miss out in a rally then get uh, strangled uh, and tossed out because I don't know how you can put something in here and buy this today without putting a stop pretty much under the lows. And since I'm going to do that, everybody else is going to do it and they're going to know it. So all they got to do is open it up and run the stops in the morning or maybe Wednesday, and that would be it. So not a big fan of uh, 
of doing anything like that. And, you know, what would it take to get one bit of surprise to take us down briefly for maybe five minutes to 3,600, and then everybody start buying? In the meantime, you've already been washed out. So I'd rather sit on my hands. Uh, as I hear Larry Pesavento repeat often enough, you'd rather uh, be out of the market wishing you were in than in the market wishing you were out. But uh, I do digress. Anyway, uh, on Apple, don't have much going on here. Um, I mean, you got a, you, you had them run everybody out up to 176 on the dubious uh, release of a new iPhone that almost nobody is talking about in technology circles. Uh, this may be the quietest new launch in a great deal of time. Uh, other things like Microsoft, uh, they have a big dog and pony coming in October. Not much movement out here today. Certainly not a lot of volume, if this is right, uh, which is fine. But you're not really sitting on anything or any kind of real support. So could they? I, I really would like it to see it down at 2:30, uh, the September 4th uh, level, which I think is probably support. So could you have a gap down of maybe five bucks tomorrow slash Wednesday, wash all those folks out and then come right back up? I think that's probably more uh, likely than not. Okay, Micron. Oh, you can give me a call, 877-927-6648 in the meantime. And see what else we have. Micron. Mr. Macron. Micron. You know, you don't have a lot moving out here today. You don't have a lot of volume. If these are volumes are correct, not even sure that they are. Let's take a quick look. Is that right? Is that wrong? Eh. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Okay. Yeah. We had just a ton of volume on Friday, 115 million shares. A lot of times uh, that kind of huge volume ends up being a selling climax, and it still may be uh, in the uh, S&Ps. Uh, but again, my guess is you're going to get one more opportunity. They're going to wash everybody out that bought there, and then it's going to come right back up at you. Let's uh, do so. I would wait. As uh, Warren Buffett says, the stock market is a mechanism for taking money from the impatient and giving it to the patient. And I think you just need a little bit more patience. Like a hospital, you need more patience. Okay, we looked at Apple, we looked at that. Looked at that. Question about the IBB. Uh, you know, this uh, looks like the whole market. So, again, I would love, and I think you have the opportunity to make some lows out here today, uh, maybe tomorrow. But my gut just tells me that they're probably going to gap it down, wash some folks out, and then you're going to find some kind of low. But uh, you never know. 877-927-6648. Uh, did, uh, could you extend your teaching points of Wyckoff analytics you spoke of at the top of the hour in the view of these markets? Um, I don't know what you want to expand. Um, there's a lot of stuff that he did that just doesn't work today. I think the what I take away from Wyckoff, besides all his stories of people coming in and telling him how the market actually trades, uh, and you know these folks didn't last very long. In fact, that's how he came, kind of came up with his own trading style. They would come into his office and tell him exactly how everything worked, and he would watch them over a period of time. Remember, this is when really the only way to trade was be next to the pits. You could telegraph orders in and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, you may be a day away from the last pick if you're not sitting in New York City and if you're not literally sitting, uh, sitting in the stock exchange itself. Mm -hmm. 
So a lot of that stuff changed. I like the basic theory of testing previous lows and highs with lighter volume. That tells you whether or not you've got a good chance of a reversal in the market. We'll be back in a minute. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Show. Just a reminder, uh, we've got a uh, tropical storm, maybe a hurricane headed my way so uh probably be here tomorrow don't know about wednesday uh but if i'm gone it wasn't the nsa or the cia that got me it was probably a storm and we'll be back when everything's put back together uh, probably just a little bit of heavy rain i'm not in the area where we really get that bad of uh problems and i'm fairly high so i don't need to really worry about storm surge I know other people will be affected a lot more than I do. So, eh, just one of those things where you can just have to uh, into uh, some uh, into some's life. Some rain will fall. We'll probably get a lot, and probably have power off, and maybe lose our internet. It will be just like the Stone Ages, exactly, exactly like the Stone Ages, except I'll have plenty of ice. <laughs> and uh, cereal malt beverages uh, to make it through. So anyway, uh, just a heads up on that. In the meantime, 
and we keep getting these small little bounces where everybody keeps buying and you know does it you know can you get a low out of this you can um as i said before i would just much 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 more like it if we go down there we're only a couple 20 30 points away from that low go down or test it don't get the volume and come back up now maybe that happens in the morning um but you know when everybody's trying to buy the same low eh, i'm just hesitant because i've seen uh, exactly the scenario happens so many times where it'll just wash out in the morning and bring it back uh, later that afternoon and you get your test and of course they the market's turned around so um i'd rather buy a little higher than uh, try to buy now and get washed out a little lower sell when you can not when you have to we will return maybe tomorrow maybe the day after tomorrow maybe the day after the day after tomorrow see you then building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to